The movie begins with Bryn, a seamstress who resides in her childhood home. As she steps outside to mail some packages, she notices a circular patch on her lawn. After posting the packages, she sits by her mother's grave and hears distant voices. Nervously, she departs, and the people nearby seem to ignore her. Later that evening, she writes a letter to her late friend Maud before falling asleep. In the middle of the night, strange sounds fill the air around her house. All the lights inexplicably switch on, music starts playing, and then abruptly stops. The wind picks up, and a loud thud jolts her way. Bryn emerges from her room to find that the electricity is out. As she descends the stairs, she notices the front door of her house is wide open. Her gaze shifts to the living room, and she's horrified to see a strange, non-human entity making eerie noises. Frightened, Bryn begins to retreat, but a creaking floorboard draws the creature's attention her way. It becomes clear to Bryn that she's dealing with an extraterrestrial being, and in a state of panic, she rushes back into her room. As the alien opens the door to her room, Bryn quickly conceals herself behind the bed, trembling with fear. As the alien enters the room and jumps on the bed, Bryn seizes the opportunity to slip under the bed and noticed. From her concealed position, she watches as the alien suddenly leaps off the bed and approaches the window, emitting a loud scream. The creature then jumps out of the window, leaving Bryn both terrified and relieved. She rushes to close the window, securing her room once more, as Bryn comes out to close the door to keep the alien out. She becomes aware of the alien's presence on the roof. She quickly runs and closes the door, but suddenly the electricity equipment in the house begins malfunctioning, prompting her to shut down each malfunctioning appliance one by one. However, as she unplugs the lights and the house plunges into darkness, she hears an ominous noise coming from upstairs, further intensifying her anxiety and unease. As Bryn attempts to call for help, she is met with a deafening noise and the poltergeist-like activities inside her house intensify. She then encounters the alien descending the staircase, and hides near the fridge, desperately trying to avoid the approaching threat. Just as Bryn hears the dial tone of the phone and considers making another attempt to call for help, the alien with a swift and eerie movement grabs the receiver, and places it back on the switch hook. The alien, having pinpointed Bryn's location near the fridge, swiftly traps her there by opening the fridge door. As it approaches, Bryn finally comes face to face with the alien. She pushes against the fridge door, hoping to break free. However, she stumbles into a door set flying by the poltergeist activity, causing her to fall to the ground in a state of shock and fear. As Bryn desperately tries to escape, the relentless alien continues to pursue her through the chaotic scene. In a sudden turn of events, as the alien approaches, Bryn manages to grab a piece of something nearby and, in her struggle to break free, accidentally stabs the alien in the head. The unexpected attack proves fatal, causing the alien to collapse to its knees and ultimately succumb to its injuries, dying in front of Bryn. As Bryn tries to cope with the situation, she decides to cover the dead alien's body with a bedsheet. Her attempt to call 911 again is met with frustration as the phone still doesn't work, and she soon discovers that there's still no electricity in her home. And when she gets into her car to go to the city, she finds that her car's battery is also down. With her car's battery dead and no electricity, she sets out on her bicycle, determined to make her way to the city and seek help from others. However, she comes across an overturned courier delivery truck, an unusual sight given the circumstances. Her attention is then drawn to her neighbor's house, which appears to be in a state of disrepair. Determined to check on her neighbor, she begins heading towards his house. However, along the way, something catches her eye, and she is horrified to see identical patches on the ground, mirroring the strange circular marking she noticed on her own lawn earlier. In her hurry to reach the police station and seek assistance, Bryn encounters Maud's parents, and before she can utter a word, Maud's mother spitefully spits in her face and departs, and then Maud's father also leaves after her. Feeling devastated and utterly helpless, Bryn exits the police station, tears streaming down her face, overwhelmed by the isolation and hopelessness of her situation. As Bryn takes a bus to leave the city, we notice that these circular patches, which had previously appeared on Bryn's lawn and her neighbor's yard, are now present in front of almost every house she passes. Bryn becomes aware of a man behind her on the bus, and as she rises from her seat, the man unexpectedly pulls her backward, and she soon realizes that the man is an alien. She pushes him away, causing herself to fall in the process. The alien menacingly advances toward her, and another female alien on the bus also attempts to intervene and catch Bryn. Amidst this chaos, the bus driver abruptly applies the brakes, causing the male alien to stumble and fall. However, he quickly regains his footing. Desperate to escape the pursuing alien, Bryn seeks refuge in a nearby private property. However, when she attempts to enter, she discovers that the door is locked. 
She then notices that there is a cemetery next to that building, and when she goes there, we see that there is the grave of her best friend Moad. As Bryn's situation takes a darker turn, she witnesses the weather rapidly deteriorating with dense black clouds approaching her. Fearful and confused, she attempts to flee the area. Upon returning to her town, she is horrified to find that all the townspeople have their hands raised, and it becomes evident that the aliens have taken control of their bodies. Terrified by the impending threat of the aliens' companions, Bryn rushes back to her house for safety. As she enters her home, the foul smell of the dead alien's body lingers in the air, unsettling her further. The slimy trail continues to ooze from the alien's mouth, leading her to follow outside. However, soon she realizes that the alien's fellow aliens are closing in on her position. Faced with the encroaching threat of the aliens, Bryn musters her courage and decides to confront them. She quickly moves through her house, ensuring that all windows and doors are tightly closed and secured in an attempt to fortify her home against the looming danger. Bryn's hopes of safety are shattered when the aliens manage to break through the blockage at her main door. However, to her surprise, they seem to be more interested in taking the dead alien away from her house. As they exit with the deceased extraterrestrial, a brief moment of eerie silence descends upon her surroundings. However, the next moment, as the aliens scour her home, Bryn's anxiety peaks, and she dashes to the basement in a desperate attempt to conceal herself. In her basement hideout, her heart races as the relentless alien invaders continue their search. She spots a pair of scissors nearby and clutches them tightly, hoping they'll offer some form of protection. Huddled under a table, she remains concealed, but her anxiety intensifies as an alien approaches, discovering her presence. With trembling hands, Bryn raises the scissors in defense, but the alien effortlessly wrests them from her grasp using its mysterious powers. The alien then stands up and snatches the photo of her and Maud from her hands, and while it is momentarily distracted by the photo, Bryn seizes the opportunity to slip away from the basement but she is unaware that a small alien is slowly moving toward her from behind, and suddenly it charges at her. Bryn, in a desperate struggle for her life, manages to fend off the small alien by biting her hand, and locks herself in the bathroom. However, as she attempts to escape through the window, the alien forcefully enters the bathroom and grabs her leg. She kicks the alien and tries to keep it at bay using a mop, but the alien breaks the mop. Bryn then injures the alien with the broken stick and pushes it into a closet, finally knocking it out with the door. She then jumps out of the window, and as she attempts to escape, she suddenly hears an alien's voice. A massive alien emerges from behind her neighbor's house, and as she tries to flee, she collides with the alien man from the bus. He grabs her hair and drags her towards an alien who is making strange hand signals. Above them, a spaceship is activated by the alien's signals. However, she manages to free herself just in time and kicks the alien man, causing him to fall under the spaceship's light. The man starts floating towards the spaceship, but suddenly the lights go out, and he falls back to the ground. After this, Bryn watches as the spaceship breaks apart into many different pieces and flies in various directions. Bryn desperately runs away from the pursuing alien, and in a stroke of luck, the alien gets entangled in some electric wires, allowing Bryn to make her escape for the time being. As Bryn tries to return to her house, something falls from above and she realizes that the alien who had been chasing her has appeared on the roof. He lets out a piercing scream, which triggers responses from other nearby aliens. The alien advances toward her, but loses balance and falls, briefly losing consciousness. However, he quickly regains his composure, rising to his feet and in her frantic attempt to escape, the alien manages to strike her from behind. Bryn notices that the alien is trapped inside the car, which is leaking fuel. Seizing the opportunity, she sets the car on fire. As she tries to make her escape, the car explodes due to the fuel leak, resulting in the death of that alien. Bryn is just breathing a sigh of relief when the spaceship comes there to abduct her, but she narrowly escapes from the spaceship's abduction attempt and rushes back into her house, and quickly locks herself inside the storeroom. Soon after, we see an alien approaching the room, and when he enters there, he sees that the room is filled with Bryn's childhood toys, and there are many letters that Bryn has written for Moat. Now when the alien is investigating her room, Bryn is hiding behind some boxes and watching the alien. The alien's attention is momentarily drawn to the photos of Maud and Bryn when Bryn attempts to attack him from behind. However, the alien quickly reacts and throws her aside with force. In a moment of sheer terror, Bryn finds herself trapped in a red light, unable to move. The aliens immobilize her and stick her to the ceiling. As one of the aliens approaches, she is filled with dread. Then, something even more horrifying happens. The alien begins to regurgitate a parasite, which crawls out of its mouth. The parasite then enters Bryn's mouth, causing her to wake up screaming and fall from her bed, realizing it was all a terrible nightmare. 
Brynn is overjoyed to see Maud downstairs and apologizes to her. However, she quickly realizes that this is not real and takes drastic action by attempting to remove the parasite from her mouth. As she pulls it out, the parasite escapes her hand, and the place fills with deafening noises. Suddenly, an alien spaceship appears, casting a bright light on the parasite. Terrified, Brynn flees the scene, and multiple spaceships fill the sky, creating an unsettling atmosphere. We then see Brynn in the woods, where she encounters an alien that takes on her form and attacks her, stabbing her with a piece of wood. However, Brynn manages to defend herself by slitting the alien's throat with a paper cutter. As the alien falls, Brynn tries to comfort her as she dies, and the alien eventually passes away in her arms. Now as Brynn reaches the road, she hears an eerie sound, and she sees a massive alien approaching her from the front. She then becomes trapped in the light and is finally abducted by the alien spaceship. Inside the alien spaceship, Brynn encounters many curious aliens who approach her. They touch her forehead, and a revelation unfolds. In their childhood, Brynn and Maud had an argument, during which Brynn, in a fit of anger, attacked Maud with a stone, causing her death. Back in the spaceship, the aliens communicate with each other and decide to send Brynn back to Earth. A few days later, Brynn has recovered and appears to be happy. Her neighbors, whose bodies have been taken over by aliens, are now living peacefully with her. The film's climax showcases Brynn dancing and rejoicing with the townsfolk. She's finally forgiven herself for what she did to her best friend, a process the aliens allowed her to go through. It seems that Brynn's encounter with the aliens has indeed changed the situation. While the aliens may have initially seen her as a threat, they seem to have developed empathy for her, recognizing their shared experience of being outsiders. As a result, they no longer view Brynn as a threat and allow her to go free. However, they proceed to invade her neighborhood and infect the remaining townspeople with the alien parasite, creating an apocalyptic world. Thanks for joining us on our horror movie recap adventure. If you enjoyed the chills, subscribing would mean a lot. Drop a comment to share your thoughts and keep the terror alive. Stay spooky and see you soon.